Okay, Vic Galloway, all one word, at bbc.co.uk. And when we're live on air, as we are right now, you can text 8029580295. So a bit of the clash always goes down well. Time to go to our session guests again tonight. Paul Leonard Morgan, good evening. Welcome back. Oh, thanks So listen, much. we were wondering... Yes. How many copies do you have to burn up of vinyl in order for it to be very, very limited edition? I think about 500. Really? Yeah, I think that's about right. It might be less than that. Would but 50 not be kind of more... Oh, that's really limited. That's l- limited. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how limited that is, but it's very limited. Um, why? Well, so you reckon 50? Oh, 50 would just be really exclusive. Okay, well, they are Attic Lights, I, I assume you're talking about. Yeah. They're on Island Records. I love so, it. It's brilliant. So I think that they've probably pressed up 500 <laughs> or 1,000. But um, they are a popular band, and they may get rid of those very quickly indeed. Have you ever put uh, vinyl out? Um, no, I did a remix once of a Snow Patrol track with Richard from Ben Sebastian. Okay. Um, so there was some vinyl out for that um, Starfighter pilot, I think it was ages ago. Yeah, um, I played that on the radio. You I'm liar! Sh- I'm pretty sure I did. It was, came out was it our remix? Inch. What was what was the name of your um... the Bad Boy Bell mix? Yeah, I think we did. It was like a sort of Northern Soul yeah, kind of version. Yeah, I played that loads when it came out. Well, that was very kind I of you. I promise you as well, I would not lie. This is the BBC. We don't lie, remember? Well, that was done in the darkness of Savas Studios. Right, OK. Well, it was one of the first things that we played when I went on the radio eight and a half years ago or so. So it was around that time. First No Patrol album and but, all that. Yeah, it was. But very, very cool to kind of see something actually come up in vinyl. I think they only pressed up about 100 or something. But yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it's, well, it's great. I've had a couple of pieces of vinyl made over the years, and it's more exciting than anything else. I don't know why. No one bought them, of course, so I've got boxes <laughs> of them in the attic. But anyway, moving on. You just mentioned um, Snow Patrol and uh, Richie from Bell and Sebastian, of course. Uh, you've done quite a few sort of collaborations and remixes and different things. Tell us about a bit about some of the other people that you've worked with. It's just kind of various things. I mean, Joe Tony Dugan, a producer. I do know Extraordinaire. Him, yeah. So, I mean, he, he was starting out at Savat at about the same time as I was starting writing film music. Um, and I just started working with some bands really and Isabella just left Bell and Sebastian and she wanted someone to help kind of write some strings and stuff like that. Um, so started doing some strings on that and then some other bands like Astrid heard, heard of some of my stuff so started working with them um, and then obviously Texas and just Simple Minds did some stuff with. Then as Tony sort of worked with other people kind of like the Young Knives did some stuff earlier on this year. Oh, that's and great. Joy Zipper and yeah, so just various people. And a good cross section of people from Texas to the Young Knives and lots of things in between. Well, it's quite random, it keeps it quite interesting, you know. Definitely, definitely. Now, um, the album Film Tales, which you're playing tracks from tonight, is out. How can people get hold of a copy of that if they Well, like Vic, it's funny it? that you asked that. Yep. <laughs> um, filmtales.com, uh-huh. uh, MySpace, uh, whatever it is, slash Paul Leonard Morgan. But filmtales.com is the easiest one, and it's on iTunes, it's on Amazon, CD Baby. Um, just kind of a couple of record shops here and there, but yeah, it's just it's just something I just always wanted to do was to put out an album. Um, I just did it for the for myself really, and then just people just started asking, well, where can I actually buy it? You know, I heard this track on such and such a film or on such and such a trailer, but it wasn't written for films. It was just something that I always wanted to do. Just wrote it for the hell of it. Oh, well, it's an excellent album. We've been playing uh, tracks from it, and it's good to hear them being performed live. For uh, f- for our listeners' benefit as well, well t- tell me what kind of TV and film stuff you've done as well. What kind of TV? Well, Spooks is on at the moment. We have an obsessive fan base for that. Mm-hmm. We send about 800 emails a week saying, what's going to happen next week? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's been a biggie. Galapagos, which was last year, that was kind of like a planet Earth for the BBC. Yeah. Um, so that was humongous. We got a massive orchestra for that. Um, so, yeah, just kind of bit, bits and bobs, really. Silent Witness, the Brief, uh, various documentaries and... Um, You've won a BAFTA as well. We have to mention this, <laughs> Paul. You've won a BAFTA. Not many BAFTA award winners come into our studio. But you know what was more fun was the novellos were more fun. And I didn't win it, but the experience of actually being there, it was where they announced Live Ape. And you just, you know, you're standing there, kind of you know, the Rolling Stones are there, just you know, Sting's there, Bob Geldof's there. I sat next to Natasha Bedingfield. She was quite fit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just great. I've interviewed her once before. Have you? Could you focus on the microphone? Yeah, I could actually, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's not go into that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the Rolling Stones and so on were there, but Vic Galloway wasn't, you know, still never been to an Ivan of Bella. Listen, give me a shout and I'll get you a ticket next time. Oh, thank you, Paul. Right, let's hear a last session track from you. Um, the String Quartet, what did you call him, a glamorous beast earlier on? Well, uh, for those hanging around by the stage door after, you'll see. Woo. And uh, Esther is going to sing on this one as well, I she believe. Is. This was a collaboration I wrote with Esther, so it's called All For You. <laughs> <laughs> 
All For You. This is Paul Leonard Morgan and the gang performing live here on BBC Radio Scotland. When you're ready, go for it. Fantastic. Paul Leonard Morgan featuring Esther on vocals. That was all for you, the last session track tonight. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks a lot, Vic. Filmtales.com, uh, filmtales.com. Yep, yeah, filmtales.com and myspace.com slash Paul Leonard Morgan for Thanks, more Vic. info and to buy the album and so on. Have you got any other live dates or anything lined up? Or would you have you got the taste for it now? Do you want to do well, some more? Well, do you know what? Did a great big anthem for the American Olympic team. Um, so it's their new anthem um, for next year, obviously Beijing and stuff. So they're talking about 
out, fly me over to go and do some gigs over there. So we're going to put it on film tales over in the States next year. Oh, brilliant. That sounds exciting. I mean, these projects that you've got going on, they're not exactly small fry, are they? <laughs> I'm, ama I'm amazed you managed to fit in poor little Radio Scotland into the uh, American Olympic team and do, all do this you know what? With the luxury that you put on down here, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, you say all the right things, <laughs> PLM. Uh, thank you very much for coming in, and we'll see you soon. My okay, pleasure, Okay, good luck with the album and with all the other projects, and I'll be watching the Olympics whistling along. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Um, live in session tonight, Paul Leonard Morgan, String Quartet, and Esther, of course, on vocals. Good stuff. Next week, 